Hi, Tech Rabbit here. So we'd have a look at diodes in the context of voltage clamping and um, extracting modulated signals. Let's get into it. So now we look at um, voltage clamping, and uh, in this example we have a single generator generating 7 volt peak to peak and um, 50 hertz a resistor and then a diode which is now actually hanging in the air so it's not connected to it and here we see the input and here we see the output now if you want to clamp the um, the voltage then what you do is you take a reference voltage which is from a DC power supply and this is 5 volts and then you connect it to the other end of the diode And as you see, n nothing happens because this is peak to peak 7 volts. So it's like 3.5. So if we reduce the voltage, the reference voltage, yep, now we start seeing the diode activate and it's clamping the positive voltage. So let's put it at 2 volts just as a reference. So here, now we've, um, effectively speaking, clamped the output signal to uh, 2 volts. Yeah. <coughs> of course, in, all, in this type of circuitry, you need to take into account the impedance of the circuitry behind this so it's going to use it. So, in this case, I have a 1 kilo resistance here. It might be too much. So, so you, you, can't, you have to dimension the clamping circuit um, based on what, what is being used, you know, what, what is using it. But anyway, here it, I wanted to use this full sinus wave because this gives a very good illustration of the fact that, whoops, the negative voltage isn't clamped. So if you are implementing a voltage level protection circuit and it's using AC signal as an input, then, um, whoops, we missed to protect the uh, my negative swing. So what you would need is you would need to also have an, a minus voltage reference and then a similar one diode on the output so that that would start um, conducting when it go, swings past the, the wanted um, um, level out on the negative side also. Ah, that's that. So let's have a look at the single modulation example. So, so I've got a very simple setup here, single generator. Um, one channel is um, producing the um, signal to be modulated and the other channel is producing the carrier wave and the reason why you want to modulate signals is, is that for example, this is a very basic example not very realistic but still usable so this is 50 Hertz so you can't send a 50 Hertz signal over the, over the um, airwaves because it doesn't go anywhere so then you need a carrier wave. So what you want to do is you want to take this signal and you want to put it on top of this one. And this is amplitude modulation we're talking about. And then send it through an antenna to the world. But we don't want to do that because uh, I don't have the a radio amateur license. <laughs> no, so we're keeping that, keeping to really low frequencies to, to um, make sure we don't send broadcast any radio type signals. But anyway, so these are the in incoming signals, and um, if we just have a little look at the, um, the carrier wave, and here we see the carrier wave. So basically, the carrier wave um, it's a like a much higher frequency, but it can actually have the same waveform. So I've actually got an example here where, where we're using sinus wave as the um, signal to be modulated and the carrier wave has the same um, signal form just to make it uh, more visible as an example so anyway we um, first thing to do is that we want to um, join those signals and um, the way I've done this is that um, the uh, yeah 
the signal to be modulated, I connect with the resistor to increase the impedance of the um, signal generator so I don't get back feed. And then the um, carrier wave I'm passing through a, 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 a mylar capacitor. And then they are just connected. So let's have a look at, um, see what that signal looks like, the combined signal. So anyway, here's the combined signals, and I'm using a very extreme example. You wouldn't do this in reality in this way, but um, the um, base signal is um, has an amplitude of um, uh, seven volts, peak to peak, and then the um, carrier wave ten. So I just really wanted to make it very clear. But here you see, if we, we just pause it, so here you're seeing the you see the carrier wave being modulated by the signal to be carried. So that's what it looks like when it's combined. So anyway, we want to actually what we want to do is then we, but you know, you you send this over the airwaves or you know through a fiber optic cable or whatever other means that needs to, to have a carrier wave based um, amplitude modulation, and then you want to deem, you want to extract the original signal. So here you can actually use a diode. So first we rectify the signal. Oh, anyway, here we see the. A rectified signal, so basically what it's done is it's chopped away the uh, negative voltage. And we still have the modulation signal and the modulated signal in, in, in packaged in one. And what we would actually like to extract from this is the, is the signal we modulated in the first place. So then we're going to use a simple capacitor um, resistor combination to um, filter out the carrier frequency. So let's have a look at see what happens when we um, connect that. So anyway, now when we um, connect it in the um, filter to get rid of the carrier um, frequency, then we see that we get a waveform that's somewhat 50 hertz and represents the original signal that we actually sent through the circuit. So that's, that's quite good. We could actually do a comparison of the input signal with the output signal, see what it looks like. Oh, here we get the, um, so, um, this one here is the input signal, it's actually a bit more, uh, more um, the, the amplitude of course is larger than what you get out of the filtered circuit. Um, and then here's the output, but I mean, if you're comparing the actual waveform, like visually, it's, it's actually very, very well matches with the original signal. It could be a little bit of a phase shift that one could identify, but otherwise the signal is, is intact, so. Oh yeah, so this is how it works. So I hope you found this informative. Um, please consider subscribing. Or just hit the like button if you thought the information was useful. Uh, merch is available. Um, or you, if you'd just like to buy me a cup of coffee, that's also possible. The links are in the description. And all the contributions goes towards developing the channel. And uh, see you in the next one.